We're a long-term disability law firm, but today I'm going to talk about short-term disability claims because every long-term disability claim begins with a short-term claim. Hold on to the end. I'm going to tell you how to get free help from a lawyer if you need it. Short-term disability is for that situation where if you get injured or you get sick and you can't do your job duties. So that's the framework. Can I show the insurance company that whatever has happened to me prevents me from doing my job? You want to get this right from the beginning. Most short-term disability claims are short and they'll get paid, but every so often people don't get better. It goes into long-term disability and the seeds you plant with your initial application for benefits can become very important in the denial or the approval of your long-term disability claim. Here's what you need to get started. You need to know that your doctors will support your claim. In 100% of the time, you should get your medical records and read them before you fill out any form or talk to HR. Make sure those records support what you are saying as to why you can't do your job. Second thing you want to do is have a conversation with your doctor. Tell your doctor you're going to make this application for benefits and you want to make sure the doctor is going to support you. Because if the doctor doesn't support you, the insurance company isn't going to approve the claim. By the way, we'll link to some other information about what to do if your doctor doesn't support your claim. If your claim is for some mental health reason, you have anxiety, you have depression, something like that, you're going to have to have a heart-to-heart -heart discussion with your therapist or your psychiatrist because a lot of them don't ever want to give up their records. But you're going to have to give up your records to the insurance company and you need to be able to read those records before they go off to the insurance company because you want to make sure that they're accurately describing what's going on in your life. If your mental health care provider has a problem with this, you better get that worked out before you make the claim or you're going to be disappointed. Here's what you can expect once a claim is made. Number one, you're going to sign releases so the insurance company is going to get all your medical records. Anyway, they're probably going to do a telephone interview with you to find out exactly in your own words why you can't work, when you stop working, what your job is, things like that, who your doctors are, all things like that. You're also going to face a waiting period anywhere from 7 to 30 days. That's like the deductible in disability insurance claims. It's that period of time when the insurance company isn't going to pay you, the short-term disability plan isn't going to pay you, but usually you'll be available for some benefits under FMLA or something like that. Here's three things you need to do once your claim is in process. Number one, respond promptly to any request by the insurance company. They will look to any reason to deny your claim, and one of the most frequent reasons is the, the claimant didn't get back to us in time. Number two, be polite. These claim people, they have tons of files on their desk. Honestly, you're just another claim file, not even a name. You're a number to them, and they have hard lives. As frustrating as this process can be at times, you want to be the one that's the stand-up person. Always be nice. It will help you in those close cases. Number three, you want to confirm anything they tell you in writing. So if they give you a deadline or they give you any substantive information, send them an email. Hey, Mary, good to talk to you today. Just want to confirm A, B, C. Honestly, you need a paper trail with these folks because, again, they have a lot of claims. There's a lot of telephone conversations and a lot of stuff on their end just doesn't get recorded. If it's important, you need to confirm it in writing so it'll be a part of your record. Last thing to do is don't panic if you get a denial letter. Most short-term disability claims are paid. Every so often they will deny you for any number of reasons. When they deny you, they have to tell you why they deny you. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a link below uh, to some other information we have in some videos about what happens if you do get the denial letter. Now here's where you can get some free attorney advice. If you do unfortunately get a denial letter, go to freedenialletterreview.com. That's our special site. You can submit your denial letter to us and 100% for free. We'll analyze it for you and we'll give you some advice on what to do next. If you're making a short-term disability claim, know that we're sorry about that. That means that something challenging is going on in your life. We try to make things easier for claimants by giving them the information that the insurance company will never give them. Good luck with your claim.